Is your computer booting as secure as you would think? So David, I understand that we have a new UEFI boot kit on the, uh, on the threat landscape. Yeah, I think that's true, Mike. Uh, so uh, it just came out. There was uh, some research that just came out uh, about a day and a half ago on this particular uh, FinFisher um, uh, toolkit, really. So FinFisher is kind of a, a tool set or a suite of tools. Um, some know it as FinSpy or WinGuard. I'm sorry, WinBird. Uh, but now, as you mentioned, yeah, it does have the capability, or they've added the capability to infect devices using a, a UEFI boot kit that's injected into the Windows Boot Manager. Um, and they, this tool set basically comes, um, I think it's commercially uh, available or commercially produced. It comes with malware capabilities that are basically similar to your spyware variant. So any of your spy type activities in a, in a, in a variant or um, uh, malware. But what it does is it also adds on top of the UEFI boot kit, there's some other um, features where it adds advanced obfuscation and basically anti-analysis methods, which make it extremely tough, especially one, since we're in the UEFI, UEFI bootkit um, partition, um, or and then now adding the additional features that they've um, added to some of the other um, steps further down in the injection infection that really make this one really tough to identify. Um, so, you know, for some that don't know, I know most of us do, basically a boot kit's the you know, malicious program or code that's within firmware of a system that, you know, loads before the, uh, or loads during the initial stages of the uh, device boot sequence. So when an infection happens then, you basically bypass a lot of your OS level security um, features or um, software because a lot of it does, you know, once the operating system loads, but now we're working before that within the boot sequence. So um, that makes it, you know, this one really, um, something to be looked at. And, you know, the whole point of this kind of this discussion on this particular one is to kind of bring it to light. So, you know, root kits, um, we've known, been around boot kits are, have been there, you know, LoJack and a few others, but um, it, this is going to be probably a shift in the uh, way things are, you know, a, a attack or a shift in how things are looked at from a, you know, attacker perspective, because, you know, on the traditional side, we know all the things that exist out there from all the different uh, vectors and variants today, but, the um, boot sequence or the boot kit side um, hasn't really been dealt with or attacked a lot, but it looks like that's going to be a shift in the coming years to where um, now that a lot of the old standard BIOS um, is being moved into UEFI, this just opens the door for areas that haven't really been looked at as much from an attack perspective to really increase. Yeah, so also, you know, on this one, uh, on top of that, you know, there was, you know, before they had, you know, master boot record boot kits where, you know, we're on the actual drive itself. They were deployed to like a single stage installer of like a downloaded legitimate act, uh, piece of software application. And then, you know, it infect that way. Now that it's in the UEFI boot kit, you basically um, are at the level to where any OS like reload or any OS um, replacement of the hard drive really isn't going to necessarily fix that because we're dealing again beyond that or before that, not beyond, sorry, before that to where the infection rate incurs. So this one is, again, something to really uh, focus at, go on, look at and focus on going forward. And, you know, because there's not a whole lot necessarily out there for um, per se of detection. Um, there are some companies out there that do have some software out that they're working on now. And um, there is some that is available. But again, this is the new arena that is definitely one to look at, uh, you know, going forward. You know, once, what I found really interesting about this story was how the applications, and they're actually getting infected through user mode, uh, which right. I thought was really interesting. Um, right. And that users are, you know, falling victim to the same kinds of things that we've seen in other campaigns. They download a Trojanized application that has, you know, certain shims put into it. Right. That, that's correct. You're exactly right. Yeah. And like, you know, and I know you mentioned user mode. So this one, you know, they kind of mentioned like kind of four different levels, like, you know, the UEFI, which I mentioned here, the MBR, the old way, the master boot record, user mode, as you mentioned. And there's also Mac and Linux variants of how it can infect as well. But um, you're right. I mean, you know, one of the things that you can do, you know, is enable that secure boot. Now we've seen, um, I've done, you know, a couple, uh, one or two on, um, discussions on secure boot having vulnerabilities. Last one back in, I think, in June timeframe on Dell. I know others, 
you know, have as well presented vulnerabilities in different secure boot. But, you know, that's one, kind of one of the things they recommend is enable that secure boot. Now, you know, on some of your larger, you know, your storage arrays or your servers, some of those do or are enabled or, you know, people are really proficient or understanding that. But in many cases, just your home level or just your standard workstation, um, the UEFI is in there, but in many cases it's not enabled. And then even when it is enabled, um, you, there's several different modes, you know, so there's like a fast mode, which will boot the, UE, boot the system quicker, but you lose a lot of your security features on that. So, you know, some recommendations, especially from, there's a good document out there that the NSA produced. Um, um, it was called um, UEFI Secure Boot Customization. They give a couple recommendations, you know, about basically, you know, enabling the thorough or full boot mode. In that case, it may slow down just enough. Not that you're really going to notice that uh, slow down in the boot sequence, but Enabling that thorough or full boot mode gives you the ability to really um, utilize all sections or parts of the actual security checks that are done in UEFI. That way you can hopefully identify this. And you know, like you mentioned, there's, there's always going to be a possibility. But again, this is just one area by enabling that secure boot that helps, you know, limit or restrict, you know, as much as possible, uh, you know, attacks, you know, as best as they can.